So I shouldn't be as hopeful as I am about the future, but whenever everything gets this bad, um, you know, when it's like real destructive and crazy and chaotic, I'm like, dude, maybe there's a chance. <laughs> I should just do comedy at my house like I always wanted to do. But then again, I always do it at my house. In case you haven't been watching this channel, I do it anywhere, everywhere. Do it at the gas station. Do it at the post office, do it on the highway, especially on the highway, do it at the bar, do it at the other bar, do it in my parking lot of my restaurant, when I'm walking around, when I'm just sitting in my car, when I'm being late, per usual, do it at, um, where else do I do comedy at? Sitting on a train track. <laughs> Um, maybe a, oh, tunnel. Under the ground, in a tunnel. Not for really terrible reasons. I'm so lucky, I'm so blessed that none of that shit had happened to me. And I think that God has chosen me to talk about these things other people aren't talking about. That's why you do stand up. What are you standing up for? Well, there's a lot of stuff to stand up for. And nobody else is gonna do what I do. The way that I do it, make people listen to my um, perspective. And I think that there's a small faction of people that don't understand what I'm talking about. I realize that. What's in their hand, what's always in their hand, what's never not in their hand, and I understand why they're so brainwashed, why they've chosen to be a cyborg that can't think for themselves to do anything that makes any sense. Can't get mad, I can't get mad, I can't get mad, it just makes me sad. It does. But yeah, I, I am hopeful though for the future. Should I not be? Should I be freaking out like everybody else? I don't know. There's just no point freaking out. It's not going to change anything. But, you know, worst comes to worst, yeah, people can just watch me do comedy at my house, I guess. That'd be kind of fun. I mean, I always wanted to do that anyway, man. I said that, like, long before all this shit happened. It was like, uh... I was passing around flyers at this place to get people to come out to my house to watch me do comedy. And, you know, it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. But, you know, it was me, like, putting myself out there and inviting people over into my little private space. And I I'd love to do that again. And I feel like we're in a position now where, like, people actually would do that. Like, if they felt like... Um, they could, uh, oh my god, this is so depressing. Okay, I gotta go. My dude is here.